could have done that. In a small Colorado town, Amber Williams, her friends Zoe and Roger, and her boyfriend Colby Patterson stage a prank at the town carnival, with Roger faking the return of the fisherman killer. However, their friend PJ Davis is accidentally killed during the stunt, and to cover up what happened they burn the evidence and make a pact that the secret will die with them. One year passes after the group separates. Later that night, Amber awakens to a sound, and receives 50 text messages reading I know what you did last summer. She drives to Zoe's shack to find her band rehearsing for a concert, and after Amber apologizes for not contacting her, Zoe allows her to sleep there for the night. The next day they find Roger fixing ski lift gondolas, he angrily sends them away when they inform him someone knows what happened. Zoe goes to find Colby working as a lifeguard at a public pool, he dismisses her and then returns to his post to find I know what you did last summer written on the ground. Amber is attacked on a ski lift by someone wielding the hook, but Colby doesn't believe her. Later that night, a drunken Roger contemplates suicide while pulling out the hook from the prank, which he had salvaged from the fire. He investigates a noise when he is attacked by the fisherman, who slits his throat after a chase. Colby goes to Lance and Zoe telling them that he believes them, so they go to warn Roger again but find him dead along with a suicide note and the hook. Deputy Hoffner strangely shows up wielding his gun at them, accusing them of the murder, until he reads the suicide note. After their statements, they return to Amber's house to find pictures of them from the high school yearbook sliced up and stuck to the wall reading soon. They all stay at Zoe's place again and find Lance outside, who shows them a message engraved on his motorbike, and they agree to stay together for safety. Colby goes to the pool to do some laps after his shift, and is hooked in the ankle by the fisherman, who disappears. The night of Zoe's concert, Amber and Lance stick together while Colby, who is now on crutches, Amber and Lance go back to congratulate Zoe but are attacked. Zoe breaks away and is stabbed in the stomach and then thrown over a balcony. As Amber and Lance make their way up to the balcony to find Zoe's corpse, PJ's father, the sheriff, comes in and finds Amber covered in blood. He assumes they committed the murders, but he gets pulled into the darkness and hooked to death. Outside, Deputy Hoffner arrests Amber and Lance and escorts them to the back of his jeep, in the back lies Zoe's body. The fisherman appears and makes his way toward Hoffner, who fires several times, but the fisherman doesn't budge and impales Hoffner on a forklift. Amber and Lance get into the car and run the fisherman down, but he immediately gets up and takes his mask off, revealing the decomposed face of Ben Willis, the undead man who brutally committed the original murders 10 years ago. He then immediately disappears into thin air. Amber and Lance go to get help but are again attacked by Willis and are chased into a warehouse. They make it out and lure Willis into a thresher, which appears to kill him. A year later, Amber is driving across the desert, talking to Lance as a tire blows out. She stops in the middle of nowhere and waits while she talks to Lance. She stands in the middle of the road and loses reception. This ultimately entaps her conversation with Lance. Amber then begins looking around as the camera cycles around her. A flash of Ben Willis is seen behind Amber, and then the film cuts to black as Amber's scream is cut off by the sling of the hook.